Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Commander. When we last left off, uh, we completed the parents' bedroom, and this is quite a fun room, actually. Uh, we did a friend in need, that was a good one. We did sink and destroy, which is such a freaking cool mission. However, now we're on to uh, the garage and tool room. So, uh, things get a little bit more difficult on this uh, particular room, or in this particular room, I should say. Starting straight off with up and down. This race is in infuriating at times it's a very short race but there's a lot of finicky little bits and i might have to cut some um some of this race out i think uh <laughs> depending on how badly we we do with this one anyway let's give it a go up and down four laps to go so don't get dizzy should have been don't go slow uh Use those ramps and boosts to help you finish in the top three. Now, it's not really... I'm going to jinx myself pretty hardcore here. It's not really the AI that screw you over here. It's just the finicky level itself. And Buggy Wug is our villain. Uh, excuse me, cat. Please don't stand on my PC. Thank you. Um, yeah, Buggy Wug is the villain for this room. He's at, he's quite cool. I like him. He's, he's pretty rad. <sighs> Anyway, let's go. If any level in this game reminds me of Micro Machines, remember that? Remember that? Yeah, you remember that. Uh, it's this one. Oh, God, we fucked it from the start because uh, I used the D-pad. Okay, analog stick, analog stick, no D-pad. What have I been playing? Oh, I've been playing... Um, Clock Tower. Right, okay, so we've just got to gun it here. Are oh, you absolute pain in the neck right he's gone the bus is gone okay now you may think that that dude's pretty stupid for turning up with a bus uh in a race but dear viewer that's not the worst uh, idea considering how short this race is and this race is one of those ones that really doesn't necessarily favor speed as you can see i'm going fast and i'm crashing into everything it's probably costing me quite a lot of time uh, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going because that's what we do. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no. We... I don't think we're doing that brilliantly. Out of the way, dude. No time for you. This is your mission indeed. Your mission is to win. And, well, we might win, but... I'm uh, not feeling good about the time. Oh, you knobs. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We've got one lap left. Can we do it? Well, I guess we're going to find out. This is very stressful. <laughs> I don't know why. This this race, man. This race. Oof, God, almost screwed us. It's probably my least favorite race in the game, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, I think we did it. I think we did it. Uh, I spent a considerable amount of time the other day practicing that race. <sighs> and when I've... Oh, that was close. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. Winning by an inch or a mile. Winning is winning. Yeah, uh, when I first started playing this one the other day, um, <laughs> I really thought, I was like, how? How could I do this? How could I possibly do this? Now I remembered I'm the toy commander, so, you know. Then things got serious. I'm so mad. I could blow a gasket. Watch out. Yeah, he's not kidding. Now, the evil extraterrestrials. Now, this one is interesting. Look at that. 47 seconds to do this mission. Now, you might think because it's 47 seconds, it's actually an easy mission. It's kind of not. Well, it is when you know what you're doing. But to start off with, this is another one of those missions that kind of seems stupidly borderline impossible. But it really isn't once you kind of see the trick to it. Do you believe in Martians? You'd better, because at this very moment they're landing to kidnap your toys. The aliens have disabled your lock-on. But you must destroy the UFOs quickly before they complete their mission. Be careful not to harm the toys. Yeah, so we can't do any blue on blue here. 
But we need to kill all the pesky aliens, which is fine. We can manage that. Now they come out of their little venti hole thick and fast. So we're going to shoot as many down as we possibly can. But you can see they've already got to work. We've got no lock-on system here either. But we do have a heck of a lot of missiles, as you can see. So, that's fine. I think they take two shots each. Or is it three? It's something like that. Now, one thing I will say. This is so much, so much easier. Oh, no. Blue on blue. Or did we? Yeah. <laughs> this is so much easier. Watch me fail. Yeah. This is so much easier with the Xbox analog stick. I'm not even joking. It's night and day difference here. That's it. Fly into my stream of justice. Okay. Right, let's try not to kill any of our own dudes this time. You need to be somewhat fast, but not as fast as you think. There is a somewhat decent amount of leeway here. Also, the more you shoot down to start off with, the less you have to deal with here, which is also quite nice. But yeah, look at that. We, we kind of aced it. My god, guys. That is so much easier to do that with the Xbox controller over the Dreamcast controller. I'm telling you, the Dreamcast controller is one of the biggest barriers for this game's difficulty. It sucks so bad. It's just the analog stick. It's just really imprecise and just horrible to use and for anyone saying oh maybe your controller is faulty well maybe one of them is but i've got like 10 dreamcast control pads some of them are brand new old stock and some of them are re the retro fighters controller which actually that one is significantly better but dreamcast analog sticks at least the official ones on the official controller are terrible awful things anyway Let's continue. I can't. I can't. I can't believe it. Oh, believe it, Buggy Wug. Believe it. Now, the pirate's booty. This is quite a fun mission, actually. But there is so much luck involved with this mission. It's difficult. There is a bit of skill there as well, of course. But there's a lot of jank in Toy Commander's physics and because I'm recording everything that can go probably will go wrong but we're going to give it a go we have plenty of time here as well we've got like nearly five minutes and we really don't need to accomplish that much but we are totally at the uh, mercy of the game's physics engine which you don't want to be at the mercy of the game's physics engine. The pirate's booty. Pirates have captured the Viking Queen and stolen her treasures. Who can help save the day? Uh, in this mission, your vehicles can go underwater. When you find the treasure, you'll also find the teleporter to the portable cans containing boost power-ups. You'll need a boost to get your van across the ramp to enter the castle. Where your trans... Uh, where you... Oh, uh, when... You transport the queen and her four jewellery pieces to your fortress. You'll have a happy ending indeed. Oh yeah, a happy ending. Explain yourself, Buggy Wug. Have you been visiting a certain website? A certain hub, if you will? That sounds very ominous to me. So, here's the enemy fortress. Now, the first bit of RNG we're going to have to deal with is killing these guys but luckily there is a hidden uh, power up here which is nice so we've got level two missiles cool but trouble is we're still totally at the mercy of rng depending on what power ups come out of these guys it's going to either make our life a little bit easier or a little bit harder and hey i guess we're going hard this time because we've got repairs and we've got a boost. Useless. But that's fine. We can go hard. That's fine. We don't mind going hard now and again. We've got like three repairs. Can you say God hates me? I can say God hates me. That's fine. I'm used to it. Right. Okay. Well, let's take this guy out. You've got to be careful with this guy because he's a sneaky little bugger. 
And a boost. Right, that's dangerous. When I was um, testing this game off camera uh, a couple of days ago, I actually got a boost land here where that uh, repair kit is. That's bad. That's really about as unlucky as you could possibly get. You know, like if I fell into a barrel of tits, I would come out sucking my thumb kind of luck. So let's kill this guy up there anyway. You don't need to kill him, but it's kind of beneficial. Okay, that's nearly everything that we need this helicopter for. So let's go take our van. And we're going to put our van down here. Now this bit can be a little bit jank, but it's not too bad. I say it's not too bad, but... Uh, Everything that can and will go wrong possibly is about to. So you definitely want to change view here. Not that view. Yeah, the views don't work very well sometimes. I don't know why. Uh, camera angles, early 3D games, blah, blah, blah. So our treasure lies here within. This rather fantabulous chest of treasure. And there is our uh, teleporter that we've read so much about in the intro. Now there's our queen's jewels. She will be pretty sour if we don't get those to her. Actually very tempted to use a save state here. Oh, I also got a boost there where that repair kit is as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Odin was having a right fucking laugh up in the clouds, I can tell you. Anyway, let's go. Now placing this barrel is kind of iffy. It has to be in the right spot for the game to kind of trigger you. It almost feels like when you do this, the game will, if it's placed correctly, the game will just put you on a rail. If it's not placed correctly, yeah, you're not going to go very far. So, you know, it needs to be perfect. Is it perfect? Uh, it looks all right. Oh, shit. It looks all right. But, time will tell. Very tempted to save state here, but, a hey, It's only time, right? Ooh, yep, yep, we got carried. Nice, good, perfect, lovely. Yeah, having a boost where that repair kit is, it's not fun. It's really not fun. But, you know. Hey, if the gods can laugh at me, then, well, sure, why not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the gods are laughing pretty hardcore at this. Okay. Oi! By the rings, honestly. There we go. There we go. It wasn't elegant, but we got there. And you know what? Sometimes that's all you can ask for. Let's drop our load and go get our happy ending. I'm sure we'll be feeling a little bit lighter after that. So, we did that nearly a minute, yeah, nearly a minute faster. Well, almost. Pirate's booty. Okay, okay, you beat my time for one mission. So what? Do you think my gas tank will shed any tears for something so piddly? Oh, that's punerific. Yeah, well, you say that, but technically uh, we've beaten you three times now. Pretty sure, yeah, three times. So, not really sure who he's trying to um, shout at, but we ain't listening, Chief. Anyway, I need to put a pause in the video here, guys, because I need to make a phone call. Okay, and we're back, guys. Right, so now we have uh, two more, uh, three more missions. My bad, dude. We have the extraterrestrials gone bad. Now, this one is interesting. E uh, extraterrestrials gone bad. There are still some Martians left and they're doing all kinds of nasty experiments on your toys. Ouch! Destroy the spaceships and bring your toys to the heliport. Beware of the mothership. You'll need to destroy it to rescue your toys. Yeah, this one's kind of cool. It's a good fun mission. It's not that difficult. Look at this as well. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> I like that guy. He's panicking. Oh my god, right. Um, now, we're gonna, before we do anything, we're gonna 
drive around to get some power-ups. Uh, in fact, I'm actually just going to restart that because I totally bought that like a jackass by driving down to the wrong area. So, let's go grab up some stuff. We've got some uh, extra pencils there, which is not too bad. There's some other little bits around here as well. I can't remember where exactly they are. We've got a chopper. Isn't there some, like... Ah, there's some more goodies under the... Uh, lawnmower, I think. So I think there's some more goodies under the lawnmower. If memory serves. Uh, I ah, there's some more missiles over there, which is cool. We actually need a lot of missiles here because we've got to go fight a pretty nasty enemy, actually. He's definitely not to be messed with. Uh, or at least taken lightly. He's can deal out a decent amount of damage to us if we're not careful. So we're going to grab up as many weapons as we possibly can. Uh, one second, guys. Okay, let's continue. Right, so where were we? Ah, yes. We were getting ourselves equipped with supplies. We've got 40 missiles. It's not too bad. I think we can get another pack if we come around here as well. Or did we already do that? No, we did not. Lovely. Excelente. Um, right, let's go. Oh, hi, guys. Nice to meet you. Now, we're going to want to drop down here and go face our little friend, our UFO. Now, it's going to be interesting doing this with the... Uh, ooh, there you are. Hey, big fella. Ooh, charge! It's going to be interesting doing this now with the Xbox analog stick. Okay, this guy actually... Hurts quite a lot if he hits you, but there is a repair in this room. A repair that does, ow, respawn if memory serves me, which it may or may not do. Ooh, okay, cool, fine. I think actually we did more damage to ourselves there than anything else. Probably going to cut this video short. Yeah, we're hurting ourselves with that as well because I'm kind of out of time to do these videos this week, but that's okay. Oh, Jesus. We've just blown our wad and uh, pretty much missed everything. Damn it, the repair hasn't come back. The repair will oof, come back eventually. At least, I'm pretty sure it does. There should be some more missiles up here. Yeah, there is. I say missiles. Yeah. Ah, the repair's back. Good. We're going to grab the repair before we do anything else. What is the time limit for this mission? Five minutes. All right. Yeah. Uh, actually, oh, and that comes back as well. Everything regens here. Nice. Okay. That's good. There we go. Good night, sir. Got nine rounds left. Uh, oh, those missiles are back. Let's go grab those. There's also some fuel over there, which maybe I've got my eye on, but nah. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Because all we've got to do now is go shoot down the enemy flying saucers. Yeah, I think we're going to leave this video on 20 minutes as well. Just because it sucks. I know. I don't like doing 20-minute videos. But and I would have preferred to do this in one shot. But when I used to do this years ago, I didn't used to have to work 50 hours a week. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, right. That was ineffective. Damn it. We're kind of at the maximum range of our primary weapon there. There we go. Oh, look at that. Gold power up. Come on. Come on. Track it. Good night. So, what? Oh! One thing we still have left to do, which I almost forgot about because of that uh, interruption earlier. We need to... Rescue our friend Arenos. We're going to be cutting this very short. Remember those dudes that were being tortured? Yeah, we've got to come down here. Hey guys, it's me, your boy. Come on. There we go. Even got to rescue the cow as well because we don't discriminate. Or something. Come on, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. That hole. Thank you. Nope. The hole, yes. Uh, sometimes it's really hard to get a get into a hole. If you know what I mean? Uh, uh, right, there we go. And we're just going to drop these dudes off. Not the best time that I've ever achieved, 
But that'll do, Donkey. That'll do. We'll take it. We'll take it. Right. Anyway, now you've been beaten. Uh, now that you've beaten my record, maybe you're wondering which one of us will win. Believe me, it will be me, me, me. Yes, we'll soon see about that. Uh, as much as I'd like to take him out in this video, I really need to get my shit sorted and ready for tomorrow. Be an adult. Damn it, nobody ever told me being an adult would suck so much. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, when we come back, we'll finish off the last few levels. Oh, we've only got, well, we've technically got three left with the boss. And these two levels are, well, that one's quite a kick in the knickers. That one's not too bad. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more time for this, I think. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. When we come back, we'll finish off this room at which I'll probably leave as its own video. So we'll have like a part B to this one, even if it's short, but we'll see how we go. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.